welcome back to my channel my name is Gloria thanks for tuning in if this is your first time here welcome if you are a returning viewer welcome back y'all know the vibes on today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to make slutty brownies not just regular brownies my brownies are extra slutty what makes it slutty is the ingredients they're not just regular brownies not only do they have Oreos in it but they got cookie dough too so with that being said let's start with the video the ingredients I will be using today is Pillsbury cookie dough double stuff Oreos and Pillsbury chocolate fudge brownies as well as all the ingredients listed on the back first thing first in this three-step brownie process are making sure your hands are clean I already washed my hands off camera make sure that you're getting underneath your fingernails and up your wrists as well next step is you're gonna get your bake sheet and you're gonna place it in the pan To do to make sure that the big sheet stays is I like to fold the edges. Then you take your Pillsbury cookie dough. I've never used this type of cookie dough before. I usually use the rolled one, but we're gonna try something new today. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna take the cookie dough and place all of it in the pan. What you want to do is take pieces of the cookie dough and spread it around the entire pan. It's easier for you to spread it with your wrist rather than your fingers. want to make sure that your cookie dough is distributed evenly throughout your pan and then two punches for good luck the next step is you get your double stuff Oreos this process in the video is the easiest step you just take your Oreos and place them on top of the cookie batter Make sure that you're packing the Oreos closely together so each bite has an Oreo in it. For the top area that doesn't have any space for a full Oreo, I will break the Oreo in half and then fill it up. That is steps one and two of making slutty brownies. I have the base layer is cookie dough and then the middle layer is Oreos. The next step in the video is following the instructions on the back of the brownie box, which is including two thirds cup of oil, one fourth cup of water, and two eggs. Now that your base batter is done with the cookie dough and the Oreos and you have your brownie mix ready, we're going to take the brownie mix and pour it on top of everything. spoon I just spread out the brownie mix just to make sure that every corner of the pan is covered and then the last step is to throw it in the oven so it can bake I already had the oven preset to 350 I let the brownies bake for 45 minutes after the 45 minutes is up I stick a knife into the brownie as you can see, there is a lot of batter left on the brownie, so that means that it is not ready yet. 
I stick it back in the oven and I let it bake for another 10 minutes. Once those 10 minutes are up, I stick a knife all throughout the pan in the middle and the corners to make sure there's no batter left on the knife. Once you stick your knife in and it comes out clean, that's how you know the brownies are fully baked. I let it cool off overnight because I didn't need them until the next day. Once it was fully cooled off, I cut the brownies. slutty brownies with the cookie dough on the bottom the oreo in the middle and the brownies on top if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like this type of content if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time